What up YouTube, my name is Nathaniel Green and welcome to another tutorial. In today's video I'll be showing you how to turn your poses from something that you purchase like this. Sometimes you'll purchase a little figure that comes with poses and um, let's click on his poses. Right now he's in the default pose as you can see it's this one here. You can see he have Oh, he's not highlighted. Let's make sure he's highlighted. Now, as you can see, each pose, they're pretty cool. But I'm going to show you how you can turn these poses into animation. We're going to need to have our puppeteer tool, which is right here. And if you want to find your tabs, because these are all tabs, you can find all your tabs over here in Windows, Panes, and you'll find your Puppeteer right here, and everything else, it'll all be in this little folder. Then you can place it anywhere in your viewport, and you're ready to go. But anyway, let's start creating some animation. The first pose, I'm actually going to keep them like that like that pose then I want to get his default pose again just double click that oh he must not be highlighted which he's not now let's click I'm gonna put his default pose here now let's just say you wanted to erase this node you didn't like it all you have to do is have your mouse over it right click then you can delete it but I'm gonna keep it you also can update it too see how it says update selected pose now that's something like let's just say you wanted to do something like this instead let's see you can just hit update now that's the updated pose of what he's doing now but um I wanna keep it as its default so let me go back there and let's update it again oops let's undo that I delete this one there we go that's what we want next I want to use this pose Then we're going to use this pose. And this pose. Along with this. We'll just put that right here. Now that's all over here in edit. That's what we're doing. We're just editing right now. Now when we're ready to play the preview, we'll just click here, preview. So you can just kind of mess around and see what you created. Now it's not perfect, but just want you guys to see how it kind of works. Let's just say you're happy with that. And you're ready to start creating keyframes and animation. This is our timeline. Now I'm going to click right here now for record. Now, once I hover, once I start moving around, it's going to start recording immediately. You'll also see this um, playhead moving across the timeline. So I'm about to go to get started now. And we'll stop. Now, if I, we can go back to edit because it already created those keyframes down here see that so now if we hit, hit play it's not the greatest animation but you can kind of see how the puppeteer tool works with poses let's just say you were happy with that all you have to do now is we'll create a little let's see an anti block so right down here at the bottom of the screen here over here on animate 2 
just right click. Then we want to click here, create an anti block from keyframes. We want to keep it the same, the BVH import. And then I'm just going to add the scale and the morph. Click done. Now, let's just say we want to, um, we want to name this. So you just want to right click here, rename, rename it whatever you want. I'll just put test. animation click OK and then now if you want to save this animation so you can use it again you'll right click and we want to go to save for legacy click OK now we're going to create a folder for this I'll just create, I'm just going to create a new folder. So I'll just right click inside here. New. I'm just going to call this folder test. Now I'm over here in test, we'll double click it and we'll save that animation, the test animation, which is what we call this here. Now, if we delete this, we can just double click that. Bring him in again. All right, so now you don't have any animation. Now, if we click right down here at the bottom, this is how we'll find our folder. Now, we know we named it test. So let's look for that right here. And that's our test animation so if we just double click it and then right here this little thing right here see this little yellow thing just right click that auto adjust it'll bring it to the end you hit play and there you go you have your animation and that's how easy it is hopefully this tutorial was helpful if it was comment like and subscribe and like always i'll see you guys in the next video peace